Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. Want to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, going out, going on with the beautiful Libra Collective. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are enjoying your Saturn's day. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. If you are new here, welcome, beloveds. I want to welcome you all with open arms. Uh, my name is Q, and I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath, and I'm also clairaudience. So you will hear music playing in the background, and the way that it works is the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what is coming out with the tarot cards, and it all just kind of blends very beautifully. Um, I am also... Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video has found you, whenever uh, it has popped up in your feed, that was divine timing and in divine order, that it has done so. Um, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. I know that you're more than just your sun sign, so check your Mercury, your Mars, check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you, beloveds. So um, we're going to go ahead, proceed with the read. Before we do, I um, absolutely want to do, um, you know, um, do some house cleaning and then we shall delve into the reading, beloved. So let's go ahead. I call upon the beautiful, beautiful energy of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So let's tap in. Let's see what's playing on the playlist. See what time it is. All right. So it's 739. That reduces to 10. And 10 reduces to 1. So some of you all... Um, there could be some sort of ending, karmic cycle, something completing, something wrapping up. Um, I'm getting with the Ten, the Ten of Swords. So there could have been some sort of painful ending, some sort of painful loss. Uh, swords is air energy, so that is your energy. Maybe you're wrapping up some sort of cycle where things could have been a little... Um, a little wonky is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye, but that 10, like I said, reduces to one. So every ending denotes to every new beginning. So it leads to a new beginning. So that 10 reduces to one and one is a new start, a fresh start, a fresh perspective. Um, even just getting a second wind, you know, just just having some form of direction I'm feeling. Um, so let's tap in what's playing on the playlist. So we have Gladys Knight and the Pips. And this is called um, Save the Overtime for Me. So some of you all could have been like overwhelmed and stressed because you've been working a lot of overtime hours. Maybe you have some sort of end goal. Maybe you're like transitioning, moving, relocating uh, because maybe you have to, you know, kind of pack up and leave. If there was some sort of, um, you know, if you was in a, a relationship that has come to some sort of end, met its demise, maybe now you are, you know, venturing out on your own. You're getting your own place. With Save the Overtime for me, maybe some of you all are putting in requests to work those overtime hours or to work um, extra hours just to save a little something something um, and it's interesting because Cla you know she's kind of like in a window of a building they're kind of perch you know uh, singing in front of like a brownstone it looks like in front of New York um, you know like from New York they have like those little brownstones in Harlem so it looks really like yeah some of you all are like perhaps like you know this is like your independence you're you're stepping out on your own again um, looking for a fresh start a new beginning so you know maybe you're up in your head about that you know just trying to get things in line um so let's tap in so let's see what we got coming in going out going on beloveds all right bottom of the deck we have 71 health so the 71 health always gives me the energy and vibration of like the eight of swords and the eight of swords is when you're like literally like 
over stress and thinking analyzing you know this is really an energy of just like analysis paralysis um it's really anxious energy just living up in your head uh so maybe some of you all like i said are overwhelmed um but this is when you are constantly in your thoughts like there's always these constant thoughts so maybe there's worry maybe there's concern and worry is paying interest on problems that may never come so instead of worrying about things sit down and map a plan out you know sit down and and draw out a plan strategize um you know start being more um involved opposed to like feeling like something is just going to change itself a circumstance is just going to change itself you be the change you know what i'm talking about like you um you know um make that change happen and the way that you do that is by changing your mind first and foremost if you see yourself as a victim five 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 on the clock that reduces to 15 which reduces to six so some of you all are absolutely stressing over a move of some sort because i'm getting like a six of swords you also could be thinking of someone from your past um you could be thinking um you know having very nostalgic thoughts maybe there's something from the past that keeps uh you know kind of you know um resurfacing i'm hearing in my mind's eye uh, maybe there's someone that recently, uh, you know, resurfaced from your past and maybe that has you really anxious. Let's see what's on the split, beloveds. So let's tap in. So look at that karmic completion. And remember, it was 10 on the clock. So I was saying y'all wrapped up a cycle. So this is what it was. Um, this eight and this one uh, reduces to nine. Nine is the highest number of change. So some of you all definitely, um, you know, were stressing over something that occurred. There was some sort of painful ending. Tens always denote like a very painful ending. And it was something related to karma. So you could have accumulated some sort of karmic debt and you had to pay for it. Um, there could have been someone that came into your life that was a karmic who was teaching you uh some lessons because anybody that comes into your life are there for a reason a season um you know and everybody doesn't go the distance they don't go all the way to the end of you know the the the, the journey with you uh so maybe that's why i was feeling like some of you all were now um moving there was some sort of new beginning because after an ending um you do have to pick up the pieces and start you know it's like you got to start from one you got to start from you know ground zero again so maybe that's something that caused a lot of anxiety and worry because maybe you're second guessing yourself or maybe you're not thinking you're um fit to 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 live alone to to be independent and we all have to realize uh that your independence is the very foundation of your stability your security your happiness your joy you have to be able to you know, live independently and stand um, independently on your own uh, in order to know that you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're codependent on someone else, you'll always be codependent. So it's almost like spirit has, you know, awakened you. Something has come full circle. Um, a relationship had to meet its demise in order for you to learn to establish boundaries. This nine that I'm getting is also giving me like the nine of wands. So some of you all have, you know, have to move Move away so that you can now start uh, affecting some of the change that you um, absolutely need in order to have a successful future. Um, right now we have uh, Toby Nwigi and this is called um, Wavy. So things could have been very rocky. I was getting the Six of Swords and the Six of Swords is literally when you're like just up, you you just say I'm, I'm leaving. You know, you move away to go, you know, find peace, to go find serenity, to get away from those troubled waters, troubled circumstances circumstances um maybe there was a lot of of um just like emotional um like just emotional upheaval is what I'm saying. Maybe there was a lot of arguments, fighting. Uh, something led, you know, to some demise. There was a demise of a relationship, demise of, you know, a partnership. Uh, maybe some of you all uh, could have, uh, like I said, you know, been living with another person and you had to relocate or move or, you know, go and find your own place um, of residency. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what's coming in, going out, going on. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. What's coming in for my beautiful Libras? May I have the message of love and a message of light. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. If you all are returning, you already know what it is. Beloved, love is love is love. Is love. Appreciate you all. I know I have a lot of people cross-watching. You know, the word hasn't got out, I believe, that, you know, I'm doing readings for others now. So, you know, a lot of my Scorpios are cross-watching some of these 
other videos, which is cool because we all have all signs in our placements in our charts. So I know that, um, you know, for me, um, Libra readings have always resonated for me as a Scorpio. You know, so let's tap in, beloved. Let's see. After this, we're going to cut the deck. And then we're going to proceed with the read. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Libras. All right, spirit of love and light. What messages do you have for my beautiful Libras? May I have a message of love and a message of light, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have this 14 moderation. And it's 10, 10 on the clock yet again. So 10 and ending. So someone made a change after some sort of painful ending. And I feel like spirit is also saying a change is necessary. There's moderations to the self. This green deals with the heart chakra. And that red inside of that symbol deals with the root chakra. So the root is about, you know, dealing with past trauma, dealing with childhood trauma, abandonment issues, past life trauma. It's about healing that. It's about your stability as well, your security, the way that you, um, you know, the way that you are within your dynamics, family dynamics, relationship dynamics, even within your work circles. Um, there were changes that were necessary. 14 reduces to 5. 5 deals with the throat chakra. So some of you all may have needed to learn to emote, to express yourselves, to express yourselves communicatively. But I'm also feeling even expressing yourselves creatively, artistically, learning what your gifts are, your skills, your talents, and honing them, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. This is an energy of learning. Some of you could have been sitting at the feet of a master teacher, a healer, and they do say when the teacher... Uh, when the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. When the teacher is ready, the master shall appear. When the master is ready, the most high God shall appear. So this is really about like spiritual awakening. You know, this is about gaining spiritual strength. Um, this is a beautiful energy of, of being very, um, very mindful to to uh, seek out the truth, to find the truth, to to find your truth, you know, to find your purpose, your path, your way. Um, this is beautiful energy. So this five, this change, this is a beautiful change because it does deal with the healing, you know, healing at a soul level. And we have Mary J. Blige. This is what's going to make you happy and bring you happiness is when you are your authentic self. So Mary J. Blige is singing um, happy. If I can get my thing to like respond. All right. So there we have, we have Mary J. Blige happy. All I really want is to be happy and to find a love that's mine. It'll be so free. That's how you all may feel. You know, the five, like I said, that deals with the throat chakra. So maybe now y'all are going to be more emotive. Maybe now y'all are going to express yourselves. We have this 61 self-love. Love is an inside job. Love is also, you know, when you love yourself, you teach others how to treat you. 13, 13 on the clock. So 13 is the death. You know, the death of the old the, and, and the birthing of a new. So it's like there was something that transformed within you, maybe a shift within your own consciousness. 13, 13 reduces to 4, 4, 4, 4 reduces to 8. So that does relate to karma. Um, but that karmic situation has strengthened you. You've learned to brave your light. You've learned to stand perpendicular in your square, to speak your truth, to stand up you know, in your power. Um, and I also feel with the, you know, because whenever I see, uh, for those who are new, um, whenever I see like, uh, mirrored numbers, like if there's uh, dual numbers, 1313, 13, um, I feel that you and your, the person you're attracting or whomever you're dealing with are mirroring one another. So there's been major changes, shifts, transformations uh, within both of you that has triggered, you know, you all to, to now um, start expressing your authentic self. This is what you have found makes you happy is when you are um, being your authentic self, when you are exp expressing your truth. Um, some of you all are, you know, have been on this voyage, this journey to to be happy, to just finally be free of the drama, of the negativity. We did see with that 10 karmic completion. So that was a very trying time, a very 
um, difficult um, journey. You've been going through that dark night of the soul journey, and and with that comes a lot of of of, of um, tumultuous circumstances. Uh, but I feel like it has taught you um, a great deal. You have been like a student, um, and you've been very very noble to to pick up this you know pick up those jewels and gems that those master teachers or maybe even you know an elder in your family or you know someone that is you know has that maternal or paternal energy that you could look up to um, and soak up that gain that wisdom that wise dome so that's beautiful so self-love was perhaps one of the lessons you had to learn um, and it has taught you uh, to to not only love thyself but you've grown you know you've grown um, in in your perspective now you are very intuitive you know to trust your own intuition and this is going to lead to you being more assertive moving forward because you have learned the value of of self-love which means you're now going to start implementing the boundaries that are necessary so other people do not overstep uh, so there's no more settling there's none of that because now you have self-love you're prioritizing you putting you first so that's beautiful so let's tap in beloved so who is our beautiful Libras? attracting to them. May I have a message of love and a message of light? We have Jimi Hendrix, Purple Haze here. And purple deals with the crown chakra, which is the seventh chakra. And we just had that uh, 61 7 uh, self love. So that's what you had learned. That was the, the download you all have received. I feel some of you all like to chief a little green. It was just 16 16 on the clock. So that's again a mirrored number. That 16 16 reduces to 7 7. Uh, so that was the crown that we were just speaking to. Trust your intuition, but the 7 7 reduces to 14, which is 5. And this is, remember, we got the 14 here, that 5. So I do feel someone could be coming in to communicate, um, but I also feel like spirit is also telling you to tap in to your creative gifts. I feel like that will make you happy. I feel like the more you start to... Um, you know, tap into your divinity as a divine feminine or masculine, the happier you will become because your focus won't be solely on uh, a particular thing or person or goal. It will just be just you'll be living in the moment, being creative. That's what we are here to do. We all have gifts and it is our jobs to discover those gifts so we can unwrap them and use them because that's truly why we are here. So I feel for some of you all, you could be entertainers, musicians, um, you know, because the throw chakra isn't just about uh, expressing yourself communicatively as I said it could also be about expressing yourself um, artistically um, musically um, you know expressing yourself in a way where maybe you are a singer maybe you play you know the guitar like Jimi Hendrix um, maybe some of you all are musicians uh, but there is a gift that you all are uh, meant to unwrap and so I feel like that's the focus here that spirit is telling you we got 91 surrender so you know surrender to spirit don't try to control the narrative um as i said trust your intuition because spirit will give you downloads but surrender to this new beginning as well don't try to hold on to something remember whatever isn't growing it's dead it's dead it's stinking it's burning you cannot you know try to force a square peg in a round circle you know what i'm talking about so if it doesn't fit if it doesn't fit you suit you if it doesn't speak to your spirit it's dead so you got to let it go that karmic Completion is letting you know something you may be trying to breathe life into is done. And I just saw 1818 and that reduces to 99. So that's telling you change, you know, just like the moderation card. Five is also about changes. Um, you know, the nine is the highest number of change because that's where now you have to establish those boundaries that we were just speaking to. So spirit wants you to surrender to spirit, surrender to this new start, surrender to this fresh start. There's a new beginning and you have have to be able to you know know that you have to be intuitive enough to know when it's time to walk away or to walk through a door you know because I feel there's a door opening with purple haze uh, perhaps some of you all could be chiefing a lot and it could be um, affecting your ability to you know maybe some of you all it's making you paranoid with that health you know that card that showed up in the very beginning um, that deals with the psyche as I said so if you're smoking too much herb uh, maybe you need to put it down for a little minute so that you can have a little more clarity maybe it's making you paranoid maybe it's making you lazy maybe some of you all smoke and you get tired and you rest for 45 hours and then you get up and you're just kind of like lethargic and you know 
what I'm saying? Or maybe some of you all aren't being as, um, you're not just, you're not as clear, I should say. So we have um, David Ruffin and it says common man. David Ruffin, some of you all could be named David, someone could be dealing with someone named David, but common man, um, you don't, you, I feel like there's something very special about you, you're uncommon, um, I feel like the, the, with common man, maybe when you, you chief herb, it kind of takes away your magic, because you're not, like I said, tapping into uh, your divinity, you're not tapping into your gifts, because maybe it's, it's kind of like, you know, taking away that, 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 um, that that fire in you you know what i'm saying it's kind of like almost you know and maybe it's the type of herb you know maybe it's that too but let's tap in let's see so divine spirit of love and light what's uh who is our beautiful libras attracting to them okay and we have 87 synchronicity pay attention to the signs synchronicities we have love partnership here 26 8 so this is someone who could definitely and with common man maybe there's someone that you have a lot in common with um if you're a feminine energy there could be a man that comes in and there's just a very um beautiful energy and flow um this these two cards together reduces to 13 and so, you know, I feel like that's the transformation is that, you know, perhaps there's something and, you know, something very familiar about someone and maybe you all are going to be like very judgmental about it and spirit was saying surrender to it because this could be like a wish fulfillment uh this could be someone that you've prayed for this could be someone that has prayed for you but i feel like there's something changing uh someone could have made some moderations within themselves uh because maybe they had some regrets and realized um that you are perhaps someone very special uh with this 14 i'm getting like the five of um cups you know i'm also getting like the five of pentacles with there could have been issues with abandonment um, or feeling left out in a cold or someone not valuing you. Uh, and so there was a necessary, um, you know, there was a need to to make the necessary modifications or changes within the self. Like loving yourself first and foremost is always more attractive. Uh, but it also, when you love yourself, just like that card showed, um, you're now teaching other people the, how they have to treat you. So with this love partnership and this number eight, eight is telling me that, you know, perhaps someone has also experienced uh, karmic lessons. Someone else has also gone through, you know, those, uh, you know, same life lessons uh, and they've learned to now, you know, to heal themselves. Um, they've learned to, to find that emotional, um, balance. This could be someone that has been praying two, 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 that's uh, four, four and four is, uh, the vibration of the heart chakra. And just as I said, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you and the person you're attracting, mirroring one another Four four reduces to eight. So this could be a wish fulfillment. Um, and as I said, I feel both of you have been working very hard on yourselves your heart chakra you're very emotionally uh intelligent and we have um we have madonna and this is called i deserve it and this is a beautiful song so this this is a very beautiful song so madonna is saying i deserve it so someone now realizes they deserve love you know um this isn't someone trying to play games um that four four like i said those that's that's mirroring uh another person's energy like that is very you know their heart chakra is opened and that was a change you know 23 23 five five so that was the change um that you both have made is to not only learn to love yourselves because that's like i said that's an inside job but now when you learn to love yourself you're now in that vibration where you're teaching other people how to treat you so someone could be watching behind the scenes they may have witnessed your your transformation your change they've witnessed something that has made them want to change someone that's held on to you um you know maybe this this vision of love that they've maintained or maybe someone that's uh you know in that energy of um calling you in uh manifesting you perhaps uh someone who's also could potentially be like trying to muster up the strength to approach you uh to come towards you because i'm getting like that eight is the strength card so this is someone that could be 
um, you know, coming into this realization, like they deserve you, uh, you know, you deserve them, you know, they deserve this connection. And with synchronicity, this is telling me that you all are in sync with one another. So there is synergy. There's some sort of chemistry uh, with that common man that David Ruffin was singing. I do feel like you all have something in common and that will be you know, the foundation of this connection. That's beautiful. So how does this person, our beautiful Libras, are attracting to them feel about our beautiful Libras? May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit? How does this person, our beautiful Libras, is attracting? See that? They feel that you've completed some sort of karmic cycle. They definitely feel like now, you know, you have some sort of opportunity for a new beginning. They see all the work. When you get to this level where you've wrapped up a cycle and something's come full circle, you now are, you know, starting back at one. So that's like that that new beginning. That's that fresh start that I was picking up because remember we saw ten, and then this card also showed up with, you know, the um, I believe it was self, uh, no, with the seventy one health. So this is very powerful in and of itself. So thirteen. So that's th one three. That's four. Then this is ten. That's five so this person is trying to muster up the strength to communicate with you because they could have been the karmic you know to be honest with you this could have been a karmic this could have been someone um you know that could have played some games in the past uh and they have regrets and now they want to change you know they may want to communicate to ch perhaps change the dynamic between the connection with you and them um with i deserve it maybe this person sees the changes you've made because you know your worth and value now and so that could be why they are mustering up strength and courage because they know like in the past things you know may not have been as um it may not have gone according to plan, so to speak, but we all know everything happens in divine timing and in divine order. So we have the 78 spiritual career. So what's hidden is some of you all could be very tapped into the energy, the frequency, the vibration. Um, a lot of you all could have spiritual gifts. Like I said, when you are in this energy, um, you know, that five deals with the hierophant and the hierophant is, you know, a master teacher type of energy. Some of you, like I said, could be sitting at the feet of a master teacher. Um, you could be, you know, like I said, going to school. You could be in a studious energy. This is about tutelage, learning, spiritual strength, knowledge, wisdom, and, and just an awakening altogether. So I feel like whatever you come into, whatever knowledge you real, you know, you come into in terms or impertinence to your spiritual gifts, uh, whatever it is your purpose is, it's like you're going to have a very successful um, career, uh, a very sex successful um you know, um, business, you know, something that you do naturally. Like I said, you have to unlock those gifts that spirit uh, has already, you know, we are all born with gifts. And it's our job in our lifetime to discover what those are. 27, 27 reduces to nine. So you and your person have been like in that, that hermit mode, really working on the self, really healing thyself. And now that you've healed thyself, you love thyself. And when you love thyself, you know thyself. So when you know thyself, you know your worth, you know your value, you know what you're deserving of, you know what boundaries to set, you know what not to accept, you know not to settle. And that's the main thing. And I feel like now there's also a, an, an a opportunity, um, you know, for someone to come in. You can meet someone um, that will open up your heart chakra. This is even meeting your soul tribe, meeting your soul family. This 78 reduces to 15, that's six. So I'm getting like the lovers, um, you know, and the lovers is really about a union. It's marrying two energies, masculine and feminine energy and finding that balance, that equilibrium, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Um, and so there could be that energy uh, where you are feeling whole, feeling complete in some sort of career because you've discovered, you've unlocked, um, you know, that gift or you've unpacked um, that gift that spirit had laid for you. Uh, you also could meet someone, you know, a beloved because uh, the lovers is like a union. And if you, you know, if you know what the lover's card looks like in traditional tarot, there's an angel that oversees that union. So this could be someone, your angels, your guides, your ancestors are, you know, aligning you with. This is someone that's like almost preordained, not even almost cut that out. They are preordained to be in your life. This is someone destined to be in your life. So this is beautiful energy. I'm also getting like the six of cups right now. We have, um, who is this? We have the Love Jones. I can't make this up. The Sweetest Thing. This is by Lauren Hill. 
let me show you love jones sweetest thing so yeah this is gonna when this connection um when this develops because this is what's hidden i'm about to pull the card for what's hidden and this is what's on the bottom of the deck so what's hidden is you may very well uh meet someone um that is that's your divine counterpart uh this is someone that you will have a lot of chemistry with a lot of familiarity a lot of commonality remember common man so you if you're a common woman you're going to meet a common man you're all going to have very similar type of energy together this is beautiful both of you could also be into music um you could create music together uh there's a lot of you know just because it's a spiritual career um there's a lot of 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 you know um conscious music woke music i don't like the word woke but you know just for the sake of getting the point my point across um but there's a lot of artists out here that create music that isn't low vibrational shoot them up murder death kill sex 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 it's not that there's a lot of people out here who create music that you know is is you know first and foremost they may record it um in a high frequency like that 444 frequency 528 frequency there's a lot of artists that are starting to do that just to change the 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 vibration of the collective so some of you all could be you know working with uh, someone in in entertainment music whatever it is you're doing it's going to be spiritual there's like spiritual um you know a spiritual um focus or focal point so let's tap in so what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful libras may have a message of love and light spirit and with love jones yeah y'all are gonna be jonesing on the phone i'm just seeing like you know those old memes where it's like you know back in the days i grew up in the time where you know with beepers and phones and we didn't have cell phones too tough that came out later on but when i was a child in my youth um there was nothing like getting a phone call from a boy you was jonesing on because you'd literally be on the phone for like hours just sitting on the phone laughing talking getting to know one another um developing you know that that connection and so that's what i'm seeing with this when i think of love jones there was a time that when you know you're thinking of someone you're so connected that you pick up the phone and that person you was about to call be on the other line that's what i'm feeling with this energy so what's hidden is we have look at that 71 health so someone's up in their head a lot about a love connection like this is someone i do feel that there was some sort of karmic um you know circumstance this was somebody who could have done some things you know and you created boundaries i feel like you have this person kind of like you know and uh, you keep them at an arm's distance or like how do they say that at an arm's length like there's no communication because i'm getting like the nine of wands i'm seeing that where you're just kind of like you you've created boundaries uh and 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 remember spirit said surrender so maybe there is you know something that has changed and transformed within someone uh and spirit is telling you like you know but there is a sense of like just stress stressing over something and worry is paying interest on problems that may never come it's like someone's literally like creating the narrative for themselves like they're, they're creating the whole um story without having that dialogue that conversation um so let's tap in and the sweetest thing i feel you know especially with lauren you know um hill uh i feel like someone is seeing something as an uphill battle um and so as i said they're creating all of this 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 noise you know and and it's like it's not even that serious and it's probably because because it's the same person that's in this eight energy that you're attracting so what's hidden is this person is really stressing over this because they do love you and they're trying their hardest to muster up the strength with the sweetest thing i feel like this person now realizes after the fact just like anyone does you know when they've played games they have regrets you know they realize what they had until it's they don't realize what they have until it's gone you know what i'm saying um and so someone is really realizing, and I just saw three, 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 and three is the number, threes are, you know, associated with the ascended masters. So just as I was picking up where I was feeling like, you know, the angels are kind of like behind the scenes, you know, kind of like bringing you into alignment, conspiring behind the scenes to bring you and whomever is your person 
into you know alignment and three 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 is six six that reduces to twelve. Twelve is the hangman in traditional tarot. So that twelve is like someone's now looking at things from a different perspective, a different vantage point. Because remember he's upside down. And with the sweetest thing, someone's now having that epiphanic moment like dang, you know, Libra was sweet, man. Like Libra was everything they was you know every we could sit around and have conversations they was wise they was fun they was down to earth they was cool they was chill you know so someone's realizing just how sweet you were or how kind or how loving how attentive how affectionate um but they're missing that we have now playing kendrick lamar this is called the heart so what did i say this is someone's who's whose heart chakra is opening up so their heart chakra is now opening up now they realize maybe they weren't as kind or as sweet um because remember they walked away you know i was getting like the five of cups the five of pentacles they abandoned you they rejected your love um and that's why they're agonizing and stressing and realizing like dang they're trying to muster up the strength because now they're they're realizing they love you with this love partnership you know this person realizes that they do have these feelings this attraction and look at that six six what did i say about you healing and the person you're attracting was also healing so they've been doing the necessary work because maybe they've been watching you at a distance maybe they've been kind of like you know following your lead is what i'm hearing in my mind's eye that could be why they're stressing and agonizing trying to keep up or you know they're, they're literally trying to keep up because it says the heart so it's like as i said their heart is open remember we saw um it was four four it was something where it was I think it was one three one three you know um 1313 and I was like that was four four which was eight so def definitely someone's realizing something now uh and it took a loss you know they could have gone through something karmic as well whatever or whomever they chose whatever direction they chose it didn't it wasn't um it wasn't successful and I'm hearing beneficial either so they could have got duped they could have got played it could have been instant karma as well so let's tap in what is um um, what is the outcome for my beautiful Libras? May I have a message of love and light? What is the outcome for my beautiful Libra spirit? Oh, I thought it was going to come out. It didn't. What is the outcome for my beautiful Libras? May I have a message of love and a message of light spirit? What is the outcome for my beautiful Libras? See that? It's taking someone a minute, you know? Okay, there it is. As soon as I said that. Look at that. I can't. We can't run away from that. That's six. There goes the, the lovers. Someone is going to express and confess they love you. They're going to follow their intuition. Six is associated with the um, first eye. And we got this two, two. Remember, we just saw two, 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 two. So this is intuition. They're going to follow their intuition. I just said their first eye. Their first eye, their intuition. You know what I'm talking about? That's dealing with the first side. They're going to use discernment and they're going to take action. This is a divine masculine, but the two and the two is just telling me that there's a decision they have to make. Both of you have to make a decision about the other. And spirit is telling you to trust your intuition when it comes to this person. Now, this two, two reduces to four. Four is associated with the divine masculine. So there could be a man. Remember, we had David Ruffin singing common man. So this person could be coming in more um, balanced, you know, because I'm getting like the four. Four is about stability you know when you think of four um four is like you got four wheels four tires we have four limbs um and so that keeps us very stable you know very sturdy very um stand up so i feel like this person is really coming in um very solid you know what i'm talking about and spirit is just saying trust your intuition this is there's love here whenever we um you know, speak to this energy, there's there's love. We got love partnership and love. So someone is really trying to muster up the strength and courage to come towards you. They want a victory. They want a major breakthrough when it comes to love because their heart is open. You know, remember we got Kendrick Lamar singing the heart. You know what I'm talking about? So this person's heart chakra has opened up and they're trusting their intuition. It's almost like they're taking that leap of faith or they're, they're going to trust what they're feeling. Um, you know, and they're going to to um, take action. Uh, maybe there's distance because I do feel like they're making a decision to to move away from something else um, to come into, you know, to come in your direction. This could be someone from your past, as I've said. Uh, but there is, you know, this this 22 is saying uh, for both you and the person you're attracting, that is very um, critical to trust your intuition. So let's tap in, beloved. We're going to use the uh, psychic road deck next. And we have the throat chakra. So what did I say? Somebody's going to be opening up that throat chakra and expressing how they truly feel. Remember we saw, um, I believe it was like, it was something that reduced to 7, 7, and, I, and that breaks down to 14, which is 5. So the throat chakra is about expressing oneself. Um, 
in all forms, communicatively, artistically, creatively. This is about expressing who you are uh, authentically as well and unapologetically. So someone's throat chakra could be opening up and they could be just expressing their love. Um, this is the change of heart. These are the moderations that someone has made. Maybe someone has gotten some really great advice from an elder or some maternal or paternal figure in their family. Maybe a master teacher, maybe a preacher, a pastor, um, you know, maybe someone at their temple or their mosque has given them some jewels, some gems, and they're going to um, express their truth because there is a lot of love that someone is, you know, really feeling here. So on the split, we have intuition. So the same cards are coming out. So spirit is absolutely saying, trust your intuition. I feel like a lot of you are also um, very psychic. Some of you all could be very psychic, very in tune, very tapped in, you know what I'm saying, to the energy. Maybe you can sense someone's communication is coming. Maybe someone could literally be communicating with you telepathically or intuitively this could also speak to uh, dreams very lucid dreams maybe someone's astral traveling maybe there's some remote viewing psychic remote viewing that's going on this two and this five reduces to seven a lot of you all could be receiving downloads divine interventions maybe spirit is sending you messages psychically like sending you little messages maybe even through animal totems or maybe through some form of like maybe a feather might float by maybe the same animal totem might um Give me one moment. My son is calling me. Hold on. My apologies, beloveds. That was my son. You know, when the children call, I, I stops everything to answer. So, yeah. So, like I said, with this this energy right here, um, just trust your intuition. Because for intuition to be here on the bottom of the deck. And then we also have the two. Remember, we also saw two, 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 two. Um, so, this two, two. See that? Two, two, two. That's six. That's also saying trust your, you know, your intuition when it comes to a love situation, when it comes to someone from your past returning, when it comes to, you know, a decision or a move or something that you're doing, uh, trust your intuition and trust what you're feeling. We're going to use these messages to clarify and then we're going to wrap it up. Ah, shade. Let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what's coming and going out, going on for my beautiful Libras. We have a message of love and a message of light spirit. All right, so we got a couple of messages that chose themselves. Whenever the cards spit out, I take it. And we have on the bottom of the deck the heart chakra. Didn't I just tell y'all? We just had Kendrick Lamar singing um, the heart. And so we got the heart chakra. So I told y'all, you and your person have been healing. This is about emotional intelligence. You know, being able to open your heart, you know, and and be open to being vulnerable, be open to love. I just saw 4141, which is 55, five, that's 10. Um, so that's definitely like, you know, that was a, a lesson you may have learned in your karmic um, cycle or in a karmic relationship uh, that was to, to love thyself, as I said. Um, so that's beautiful. So let's tap in. So we have for 14, moderation. We have movement choices and decisions. And I was saying, I literally said that there's, you know, because we got, we had that 2-2 two -two, uh, intuition. I was saying that both of you have a decision to make. And this is what this is saying. There's going to be some changes, you know, but you have to trust your intuition. The 7, this reduces to 7. 7 is a crown. So trust the downloads that you may receive. Trust the little synchronized little moments. You may see angel numbers. Look up, research the meanings of those things. Nothing is happenstance and nothing is coincidental. There's a meaning and a purpose for everything. If there's a certain bird that calls, that sits outside of your window every day, you know what I'm saying? If it's a little red cardinal, that's a masculine energy. Some of you may have a masculine in the spirit realm that could be coming and communicating with you. Remember, we also saw, you know, that there was like, you know, there's, there's uh, you know, angels and ancestors that could be kind of like uh, aligning you with someone. That could be a sign that something's about to happen we saw that synchronicity so pay attention to your intuition you could be receiving a lot of divine downloads via your dreams maybe daydreaming maybe when you're in the shower there be certain thoughts that come up write those things down write them because some of you all are going to have to make a decision a choice and if you look closely within these um each of these windows you know you you have rings so some of you all could you know there could be a, a decision you have to make in pertinence to um a partnership some sort of domestic partnership um there's coins there's money so a lot of you could be up in your head just kind of mentally conflicted overwhelmed so there's some changes that are really weighing heavily on some of you all but it's like trust your intuition because that's what that too is trying to tell you as well or oh, that's what the two is telling you it's not trying to tell you anything so now we have what did i say it's trying to tell you something and we got something something playing by maxwell 
All right. Something, something. So the two is telling you something, you know, there's a decision you're going to have to make, you know, and you have to trust, you know, which path you have to choose rather the path. So you got to choose wisely. Uh, shade. So we have rest and rejuvenate here. This is the number four. Remember that four reduces, I mean, is associated with the masculine. Four is also associated with the heart chakra, but that's also the vibration of 11, 11, which is the twin flame union, the soulmates, the divine counterpart parts, cosmic companions. So there is a divine masculine that is healing themselves. This is what you call healing thyself and learning to love thyself. You know what I'm talking about? This is meditating to get things straight. Someone could be literally like going out in nature, sitting amongst the trees, hiking, um, going to a body of water. But this is really about meditating to get things straight. Four, 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 four. This is a spiritual union indeed. They're getting messages from spirit because this is also a four. So there's a divine masculine that really could be uh, communicating with their angels, praying and wishing um, upon a star, sending up the petitions to their angels. And and there could be some sort of beautiful wish fulfillment that's coming in. You know, someone had to ground themselves. Someone had to find balance. Someone had to heal. Um, and in doing this, this is bringing a, about healing. Um, there's definitely about restoration as well because I'm getting like the three of swords energy. Before you get to this four, you get you have the three of swords. So someone really suffered some sort of emotional loss as well. Um, and they had to take some time out to meditate to get them some things straight. You know what I'm talking about? And that's why, you know, this model moderation is here because now they realize like there's changes they have to make because we can't change anyone but ourselves you know what I'm saying and that's the problem with a lot of relationships people think you know that they they see all the red flags 45 45 on the clock um that's nine nine so that's definitely hermit mode taking that time out to breathe taking that time to go within to assess the self to analyze to self analyze to reflect to introspect this is also about like you know looking back in awareness you know but it's also, you know, as I said, like people get into these relationships thinking they're going to change another person and you can't change anyone but yourself. It's always up to that other person or whomever you're dealing with to make the changes within themselves. So that's why a lot of relationships crash and burn because people think that they could take someone and change them and manipulate them into what they want them to be when someone may have a completely different path and purpose in this life. So we have Nas right now. This is called um, EP and D. Um, and EPMD is an old, you know, it's an old school rap group. Um, but this is um, with with EPMD. I just feel like I forgot what that's an acronym for. Eric Par Oh yeah, Eric and Parish making dollars because Eric is Eric Sermon. Parish is the other. Yep. Thank you, Spirit. You see how stuff comes to you. So Eric and Parish making dollars. So someone could have been like real focused on coins. Could have been real superficial. Um, just real, real worldly. You know, just very uh, money oriented, or you know, and not really focused on love. And that's why they're grounding themselves. That's why the healing is necessary. So thank you, Spirit, for that. So uh, someone's name could be Eric. Someone could, like I said, be going to a master teacher, a healer, a pastor. Maybe someone heard a sermon. Maybe someone read, read um, their basic instructions before leaving earth, read a particular scripture in that basic instruction before leaving earth, and they are receiving them downloads. But we have now a crown chakra, and I mentioned the crown chakra. So someone sees you as very wise, Libra, because this is how they feel about you. They feel you're very intelligent. That's why they could be a little intimidated, or there could be some fear associated with coming towards you, and maybe that's why. They're trying to muster up the strength and the courage. I just saw 47, 47 on the clock. So that's 11, 11. This is a twin flame. So this person definitely thinks about you, dreams about you. This is someone that's watched you transform. This 10 and the 7 reduces to 8. So this is absolutely someone that sees you as a wish fulfillment. They've also seen how you've taken your power back. They may see you as someone who's mustered up your strength and courage to make those necessary changes and transformations. Um, I'm also feeling a sense of like, you know, they're up in their head because... Like when you take, you know, when you're at the seventh chakra, that means you're highly psychic. Uh, you could have all the clear gifts like clairaudient, clairsentient, you know, clairvoyant. Uh, so you could just be very like wise. You know, they see you as someone who has grown like you've, you've completed karmic lessons, which means you've learned some really tough lessons. And you're still, you know, this is how they see you very refined. Um, 
to get to the seven means you had to start from the basement, which is the base chakra, and go all the way up to that seventh chakra, which is, you know, the, you took the elevator all the way up. So that's ascension. That's growth. You know what I'm talking about? So they see you as very wise. And we have Matumi. This is called Juicy Fruit. So this person definitely is very sweet on you. Remember, we had uh, Lauren Hill's sweetest thing. So this is that person that definitely uh, is, is, they feel, uh, you know, just very um, lighthearted when it comes to you. Uh, they also feel you're very sweet. You know, some of you all, uh, you may like juicy fruit, bubble gum. Um, you know, th this is something like maybe someone uh, out there, maybe, uh, I, I just feel like someone may have eaten like remember juicy fruit i think it came in like a green um package some of you all I, the juicy fruit is 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 there's a reason why that came on and i feel like somebody not only do they feel your sweet because that's the first thing that popped up in my mind's eye but i do feel like someone also may have like chewed that particular gum um maybe that was a gum of choice maybe that was something you know because it's a very sweet gum we have trapped in fear eight and eight see that i can't make this ish up this is what's clarifying 71 health this is what's hidden someone is trapped in fear they're literally intimidated but they're creating the narrative and that's why spirit was like look you got to get out of your head beloved you you got to stop this they're literally up at night agonizing stressing this is anxious energy mental conflict they're literally trapped. They're like caged. The mind is is literally the devil's playground. And this is why health is here. Remember I said this is gives me like the eight of swords. And that's exactly what this is. The eight of swords. So that eight and eight reduces to 16. That's seven. I feel like they're going to move out of that energy with juicy fruit. I do feel like, you know, they will eventually like eat because fruit is like knowledge as well you know eat the fruit of wisdom the fruit of knowledge so someone is going to finally have some sort of epiphanic moment because that seven is you know associated with the crown chakra so maybe they receive that download maybe they receive uh you know some sort of divine intervention from spirit uh maybe they just trust their intuition um but they will move out of that energy because that seven that this eight and eight reduces to is associated with the chariot yet. so they will be more assertive and more confident in their quest for love you know um this person's definitely like some of you all i'm hearing y'all may have like um i'm hearing bodacious like so your booties may be bodacious you may have some real big juicy breasts um there's something juicy that they like i'm, I'm getting physical it's a physical um you know, something physical, something on your body. So maybe some of you all may know who this is. Maybe somebody used to say that like, ooh, those big old juicy whatever, whatever, you know, fill in the blank. So we have in the bottom of the deck, base chakra. Look at that. So someone is absolutely, this is that energy right there that I was saying. So with that base, that base is associated with the root chakra. So someone's getting to the root cause, which means they're dealing with their past life issues or their past traumas, uh, whatever childhood traumas, abandonment issues, but they're also finding stability within themselves. They could be identifying all of the things that no longer work for them and making those necessary changes. This one in the six reduces to seven. So that means that that is also a sign that someone is coming towards you because they do feel like, you know, this is, you know, th this is a situation that they do feel is like family. You know, they feel like you are like home, the hearth, you know, they feel like you are someone that they can build that future with, build that, that, um, you know, that nucleus with, have that, 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 um, a happily ever after is what I'm getting. But this is a beautiful reading, Libra. You know, I, I, I don't see nothing wrong with this. It's just whoever's in this, this energy, pardon me, I got the hiccup. They're going to eventually move out of this because I do feel like they're going to have some sort of, you know, epiphanic moment. You know, there's going to be some sort of light bulb that goes off. You know what I'm saying? But there is a lot of stress and anxiety and worry. Um, you know, maybe somebody is really like up in their head. It could be, you know, about a love situation because I do get a lot of love being that love came out and love partnerships. I was initially feeling like someone was moving and getting away, starting over, and that showed up as well. So this is a beautiful reading. Remember what Spirit told you several times. Trust your intuition. Don't make any moves. Don't bust no dope moves unless your intuition tells you to do so you know what i'm talking about so never submit your will to me to a reader to any person outside of self you 
have that 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 uh you know you commune with your higher self with your angels your ancestors you communicate with them and get them downloads from there but this is your reading libras thank you so much for tuning and tapping in until next time i send a big old fat ah shape peace